Hi, this is Tony from LandShack.com and today we're here to talk about fiber cable type versus speed and distance and how to choose the right cable based on your present and future needs. On this chart, we have represented the three most popular core sizes of fiber optic cables used for networking. As you can see, each of them has an outer diameter of 125 microns. That is roughly the diameter of a human hair. Fiber optic strands are made up of two main components consisting of the core and the cladding. The function of the core is to transmit the light, whereas the function of the cladding is to reflect the light and keep it contained within and to propagate the light through the fiber. There are two main types of fiber that we use, and they are known as multi-mode and single mode. Generally speaking, multi-mode cables are used for local area networks, whereas single mode cable is normally used for much longer distances. Here we see that the core for single mode cable is much smaller than the multi-mode cables. The reason for this difference is because single mode requires a very small core to transmit its laser light. For today's discussion, however, we will concentrate on the different forms of multi-mode cable. As you can see from the chart beneath the illustration, different fiber core types have vastly different limitations for speed and maximum distance. The 62.5 slash 125 micron, aka OM1, is currently the most common multi-mode fiber used, and yet it has the lowest data carrying capacity and shortest distance limitations as compared with other multi-mode fiber types. The 50 slash 125 core sizes come in different classifications, OM2, OM3, and OM4. Please note that OM3 is usually just referred to as 10 gig since it is generally the best choice for 10 gigabit ethernet over multi-mode fiber and was designed specifically for that purpose unless you need the extra distance provided by OM4. So the fiber type that we recommend for most networking applications today is 50 micron 10 gig OM3. If you compare the extra cost versus present and future benefits you may find that this choice makes the most sense for your needs. This chart that you see here can be found on our website at landshack.com forward slash fiber chart. Please note that this mini tutorial was intended for convenience in finding general information as a starting point in planning a network. Please be sure to check the performance specifications of the equipment that you plan to use in order to be sure of speed and distance with a particular fiber optic cable type. That's it for today. Thank you for joining us at LandShack.com. Please remember us for all of your cabling and connectivity needs.